Many of you have asked if I could do a study on the fact that Islam was created by Roman Catholicism. And I could, but uh, the truth is that there are some excellent resources out there that prove it. And, you know, a lot of these things I'd have to actually go there and, and you know, show, you know, over to the Far Eastern countries and things and show the connections. And that's already been done by someone else. I'm going to be referring you to that video here in a minute. But this one here I have showed... Uh, I have a video on this thing, The Muhammad's Believe It or Else, good little comic book, uh, very funny, some of the things that Islam actually teaches, it's absurd <laughs> to the highest degree, Islam is, a, is just another fairy tale put out by the mother of harlots, the Roman Catholic Church, but as far as, this one just shows kind of the, the goofy beliefs that they have, but as far as the um, actual tie to the Roman Catholic Church and that the Roman Catholics were the ones that created, they set up Muhammad and, and created that whole system. Uh, this one right here, the uh, Alberto Part 6 of Jack Chick's comic book series. And a lot of people try to discredit, oh, it's a comic book. Ooh. Well, he brought it out this way so he could illustrate the thing and show, you know, obviously a lot of this stuff you aren't going to be able to have pictures and things like that or paintings or whatever historically documented photographs because it happened many, you know, over a thousand years ago. And so this one here um, is very, very good. It shows a lot of the connections. But I want to recommend a video to you. It's put out by a man named Dr. Walter Veith. Okay, now he is a Seventh-day Adventist. And I disagree very much with the Seventh-day Adventist teachings and things like that. Um, I think a lot of them are lost because they're trusting in their own self-righteousness, their own good works. They believe in keeping the commandments, keeping the Sabbath day, and all that other stuff. But in spite of that, I think that there are some that are saved. And I think Dr. Walter Veith is one of those. Um, that's why I recommend this video. Uh, he does an exceptional job, a very, very good job at it. And again, I cannot, I'm not endorsing Dr. Walter Veith and everything that the man says. I'm not doing that. I'm just simply saying this video that I'm going to give you the link to that video is excellent. I mean, he shows the fact that the Catholic pagan temples are the same as the Muslim pagan temples, and they're both putting pagan you know, deities and things and aspects in with their quote-unquote religion. Uh, and it's the same thing. They're both uh, basically descendants of the whole ancient Baal worship system. So I um, just want to recommend that video. Uh, they, they've done a better job, both the video and this comic book right here. You can get this at chick.com. And both those sources will prove definitively that Islam was created by Roman Catholicism. And you say, well, Brian, that's still not enough for me. Okay, then watch the news and, and look, at, look online. For, I'm not saying watch the news on television. Avoid the news on television. Okay, it's mind control. But look at things online. Look at stories and things like that. You will see the Pope meeting with these leaders of Islam and things like that, they're going to bring it all together. Right now, um, just to give you a little bit of an analogy of what's going on, uh, the Lord Jesus said, you know, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Well, the devil counterfeits everything that the Lord does. So the devil is also fishing for men. And one of the best, most effective ways that you can fish, that you can catch a lot of fish quickly. Obviously, if you have a regular fishing rod and reel, you're going to catch one fish at a time. It's very hard to catch two fish at a time, you know, unless you catch one and a bigger fish comes along and eats that one and you got them both, you know. But the fact of the matter is, when you have a net, that net can catch lots and lots and lots of fish. And that's what the devil's doing. The devil took Roman Catholicism, he took this ancient Babylonian system, this cult, and he threw it out there onto the waters. And now it's going over this way, and it's Islam, and it's going over this way, and it's Catholicism, and it's going over this way. A lot of the Protestant denominations, and Lutheranism, and Methodist, and, and it's floating over. It's floating into all these areas, and even atheism. These uh, Czech comic books, the, these Alberto ones, Alberto Rivera was a Jesuit, and he got saved and got out of it, and he told the truth about what the Jesuits, what all they're in, and the fact that Karl Marx and some of these other prominent atheists were actually Jesuits. And you say, well, why would the Roman Catholic Church want to create atheism? It's another part of the net. And look at these atheists, the modern-day atheists. They have a religious fervor to them. They're fanatics, you know. 
they're, they're crazy. They're out there trying to convert everybody. And what's going to happen is the devil's got that whole net spread out, Islam and Catholicism and many of the Protestants and Buddhism and all these other things, Mormonism, Jehovah's Witnesses, atheism. And when the New World Order happens, he's going to pull that net in. And all those religions are going to become one, unified under the Roman Catholic Church. That's what's going on. Islam was created specifically for that purpose, to get these, these descendants of Ishmael, these Arabic people mostly, there to bring them back, to bring them in, to, to snare them and bring them in. That's what's going on here. So if you want to know about the connections between Islam and Roman Catholicism, watch Dr. Walter Veith's video. Get this comic book right here, and um, you will see that they are connected. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.